nightmares. They're never a nice thing. As an adult, they're not as bad because you can come to terms with them probably more easily. You can uh, differentiate between dreams and reality. As a child, however, that's something that's some, that, that is something that's a little different. That's what this next game is all about. You're a little girl in a house um, who's having a reoccurring nightmare. And you've got an objective to try and solve um, some puzzles um, and then try and conclude the nightmare. But it's to a gruesome end. Let's see what it's about. Hello and welcome to Bunkum. My name's Anthony and today we're playing Infinite Nightmare, uh, a game that's been recently released on Itch.io. Um, it looks really promising, so uh, looking forward to playing this one. So let's give it a whirl. All right, here we are. Oh, she's a cute wee thing. All right, so it's A and D to move. The sound already is pretty intense. Already giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Cracky, I can't see a thing. E, come on. Door is locked. Okay, so we can't go through that one. Can I do anything with a cabinet? No. Okay. I do have a thing from a pixel game, don't I? I'm a platformer. <laughs> I really need to mix things up. I'll have to do an FPS or something like that next time. Oh, what the heck is that? That's bizarre looking thing. What is it? E. Uh, right, so this must be part of the puzzle, so we've got to try and memorise what this looks like, so... Hook, C, Y, I, L. That's the way I'm looking at it. All right, okay. Hook, C, Y, L. I'm probably gonna have to write this down. <laughs> oh, another door. No, it's not giving me a prompt to do anything. Do we go upstairs? Can we go upstairs? No. Do I jump? Oh, I can jump though. Can I go upstairs? Do I jump upstairs? No. It's just going straight past it. Oh, can you hear the crackling fire? That's cool. The game's really put me on edge. <laughs> I like that. It's really nicely done. The sound to a game is really... Oh, okay. Yeah, the sound to a game is so important. Um, obviously, graphically, they've done a fantastic job, but the sound really does make this. Uh, right, so, what do we say? Hook. Do we put them on, this pa on these pages? So, hook. Uh, y. Oh, rats. It was IL at the end, I think. So, that must be. So, it's either... They are here, wake up. Okay, so this must be the second night of nightmares, perhaps. I think the music's changed as well. I oh, know it's probably just because I was in the bedroom. Can I go through there yet? So that door's still locked, so I can't go in there. Is it darker, or is it my imagination? No, it's my imagination. Do I have to do the same thing? So the puzzle looks like it's exactly the same. Can't do anything with that door. That clock's going nuts. <laughs> Oh, it's sending me, sending shivers up my spine. We've done this. Uh, hook. Y. C. I. L. Wasn't it? 
wake up they're here so do I have to do the same again so it's the same as it was before I'm a bit confused am I am I um I'm going to check that puzzle to make sure I did get it right because it's not Oh, I was expecting something to be different. Hook C. Hook C, Y. So the Y is in the middle. So let me try. I must have got the puzzle wrong. That's why it did that. So my mistake, my bad. All right, come on, come on, come on. So the Y was in the middle. I L. Uh, L, a hook with the beginning, and then that one. They're here. Wake up! Oh, I must have. I must be getting something wrong. Oh, hang on. No, this is different this time. There's candles in the room. There weren't candles before, were there? And the music stopped. So something. Oh, there's a rabbit with a. That rabbit wasn't in the corner before, was it? Can't interact with her. The music, there's no music now. Ooh, okay, can I go back to bed? Night! <laughs> Don't want to play anymore. Oh, oh sugar! Well, you're not going to get me the second time round. I should have known when I looked at that that something was going to happen. Oh, you swine. Can I turn the light out? <laughs> Let's have a look at her face again. Oh, she's not going to scream at me this time. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that got me. I don't, I don't, jump scares don't normally get me. That was, that, oh. I let myself down that one. Right. So that looks like it's the same. So do I have to do the puzzle again? Oh, hang on, there's a door there. Can I go through that one? I can't see a floating E or anything. No. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely darker though this time around. Oh, the windows are open. Clock's still going nuts. The box is gone. Oh, new door. I didn't go that far before, did I? At least we're outside. A swing. The moon in the sky hovering above our heads. What's on the floor? Is there something on the floor there? Hear somebody playing guitar in the background. Oh, that's locked. Wheel. So is that like my Wendy house kind of thingy? Me. Is there anything? Oh, what's that? E. Picked up a flashlight. Cool. Door's locked. So what do I do now? So I've got a torch. There's no. Doesn't look like there's a key or anything to to get into these ones. It looks like there's things on the floor, but I can't seem to be able to pick them up. Do I go back into the house? Yeah, because it was quite dark in the house before. So perhaps I'll see something. What the heck? I've got I've got goosebumps all over my arm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, it's pitch black now. At least I've still got my torch. I can't see anything. Absolutely nothing. Not a Scooby. Oh, this game's brilliant. I love it. Oh, can we, do we go to the left? No, dead end. Oh my God. <laughs> 
the hell? Do we, can we get that? Right, the bathroom's locked again. Like that thing in the jiggy. Right, still got the same puzzle. Is that door open? No. Oh, we're at the stairs. Oh my word. I can hear something. What is it? Something following me. Oh <laughs> Uh, do we go back outside? Oh, perhaps we try the Wendy house this time and something's different. It's like woman, ghost, apparition thingam is there again. Is there some? I keep on thinking there's things on the floor. Door's still locked there. Is this like, is this going to be open now? Oh, I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, that music. Is that blood on the walls? Oh, my God. What's that say? It says something on the Don't close the light. Don't close the light. Can I hear something? I can hear voices. I don't know if it's just because it's the radio or the music. Oh, and it's gone quiet. I'm a bit apprehensive. What's going on? When well, the music started again. What's that? Is something going to come out from behind the wall? Or is that something else written on the wall? I can't see. Oh, something about the light again. Nope, 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 nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, no. What the hell? I can't move. What the hell's that? No, don't end. You can't leave me on a cliffhanger. I need to know what. <laughs> What, what, I, no, that can't be the gruesome end, that can't, you can't end on that note. <sighs> oh no, I was, I was really getting into that, really getting into that. That was fantastic. Such a simple game, beautiful audio. The Audio is fantastic. I love the audio in this. Not just the music, but the sound effects as well. Absolutely amazing. Graphically fantastic as well. Really nice. Um, I, was, I was just a little bit disappointed that it was shorter than I'd hoped. I was really hoping it was going to end up being longer than it was. Um, no, I really, really, really enjoyed that. Um, I like the way that it changed every time. There were subtle differences. Obviously, um, it, when you get the puzzles wrong, you set back and you don't die or anything like that. You don't. Normally, in those kind of games, you it resets or just doesn't do anything. You have to try the puzzle again, but it just takes and you right back to the beginning of the level again, um, which was interesting. Um, but brilliant gameplay. I like the fact that you obviously chunked up and things were, like I say, you went into that bathroom and there was that thing in the mirror. I should have known that there was going to be something in the mirror. That typical horror trope, that. So I should have expected to see a ghost, <laughs> but it still made me jump. Really made me jump. Had chills pretty much throughout the whole of the game. Um, Oh, absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. I'm going to score that one or grade that one a B plus. Really enjoyed it. Like I say, the only things that let it down uh, was was the ending. And again, I, I know it's a short game. Well, actually, I didn't know this one was going to be a short game. Um, 
I know most of the ones that I've played have been. I was hoping it was going to be a bit longer. Um, but I liked the fact... I, I just loved the way that it developed. I loved the way that I was completely immersed in that game. Um, and I just wanted to carry on playing. I wanted to find out what was going to go on. Um, I would highly recommend playing that one. And if you do, turn out the lights, put on your headphones and, and give this one a whirl because that it was superb. Thoroughly enjoyed that. So thank you, um, whoever developed that one, Al, Al, Al Passion 007. Infinite Nightmares on Itch.io. Give it a try. Um, fantastic. Anyway, um, enough of me gushing. Uh, thank you very much for wash it, watching not washing although thank you for watching as well um, really appreciate you spending the time looking at my video look forward to seeing you all soon um, any comments feedback in the section below um, and I look forward to see you seeing oh my gosh I cannot speak and I look forward to seeing you next time <laughs> laters